Hello friends, uh, good afternoon. Uh, so today's section we'll discuss about uh, how to uh, how to use uh, like Google Analytics, how to generate the Google Analytics in SharePoint. So using Power BI. So here what I did, I uh, so uh, here I am using Office 365. So before you start um, work on this, first of all you have to verify you should have the account on means you have subscription to you know uh, login the power bi here so you can get it here from power bi section you will get in the admin center so uh, uh, if you have uh, using if you are using the trial version also uh, you have 60 days of uh, trial period so you can able to uh, access this account so here uh, what i will do in power bi there is a feature uh, feature called um, Google Analytics uh, as we know everyone has idea about what is Google Analytics so uh, if you are using Google Analytics here so you should have the Google Analytics um, activation or you are already using Google Analytics in your for any of your website so that you can the, use the same thing here to generate the report so what I will do uh, so in the app section you have to go here I am not going to create from the uh, beginning as I have already created so I will just show you how what is the exact process to do it so uh, here how you will do it you just uh, go to the here you can also uh, find it using if you search google analytics you can also search in app section get an app if you click on the get in app then here you will get the google analytics uh, search here so you check here I will show you how to yeah here google analytics is come so you just click it here to install it in your application but here as i have already i told you i have already uh, activated means installed this so just click on this google analytics so if you click it here so uh, it automatically generate the report what it is the default uh, it's the default format of the google analytics in power bi so but you have to connect it to your application means your website to see the exact behavior exact uh, like did all details like your site access page viewers everything if you want to see so you have to access with your application so how you will so suppose there is a option called connect your data just if you go to the connect your data here you have to provide your google analytics view id and purchase email so these both you and you need to provide once you provide these two things then you click on next it will uh, means you will get all the details of your google analytics which you have used earlier so that it will generate the report automatically so how you will go um, is get this google analytics first if you click it here uh, here it will go to google analytics and here if you go to the google analytics you should have the account in google analytics but here i, I have a demo uh, application like i have a demo uh, website so which i in this process means which i have already configured here so if you go to the uh, go to here then you will get to know all the details this is my DHL this is my website which I have activated here if you go to here here you can see this is your website data view this is the ID means the ID which you want to provide here Google Analytics viewer ID so this is the viewer ID you have to give this ID there and provide your email ID so that it will automatically fetch your all these records uh, or all these uh, means whatever the data uses what is your page viewer everything you will get from which country how many user has got access everything will get it here but if you see it here if you have, okay uh, but before that i am just to, i want to show this report in power ups so how we will use this in power ups then go to the power up section uh, i'm just click it here then i'm just click on power ups yeah, if I go to here, 
if I go to home I am going to the apps which I have already created this is the Google Analytics which I have already created it here so I just click on the edit page and again I just going to the Power BI and again I going to the Power BI so it will take some time to open the power apps so let's open let's give the time to open it let's go to the power um, yeah, here if I go to the google analytics here my once I configure with my google analytics which I have already configured then it will automatically come up here so if you see the google analytics then, you know, then how we will configure this in your power apps so just go to here in the favorite here if you go to the embed then is your website or portal just copy this app just here it will there is a embedded code here just copy this content and use this content here if you go to here just drag and drop the uh, go to the insert tab go to the chat and here just drag and drop the power bi tiles power bi tiles and uh, just go to the power tile URL in the URL just update the URL so that if you click and run then your now the report is coming easily so here what is the section you have to cover so here if you see page view operation system only how many uh, means uh, page viewers from where it will give you the all exact result here then day wise average page viewer it will show you here page viewer by top side pages means from where you will get all these blocks file means whatever the part of which part of the file is, they have access uh, so all this count you will get it here uh, like i'll show you date and time details here you will get all these page viewed by time and day means monthly weekly and day wise and time wise you also you will get all this viewer in the top you will get the all the page view, unique page view, organized search, news, head visitor, everything you will get it here. We go to the map analytics. Here in map analytics you will get all these details based on the country. If you choose the country, if you check the country, country wise you will get all the details. Next go to the key influencer. In the key influencer you will get uh, like if you see means one to two minutes within one to two minutes what is the analytics analysis means what about the, the analytics you will get in the graphical way next is equation tree here also you will get uh, page viewer unique page view to organize everything you will get it here but here i don't have any data uh, next go to the side speed yeah this is one also main important section in site speed you will get to know means what are the speed of your tight means your site means all page load time means how many times it will take to load your site page title and all these things you will get it here so this is the one good thing good feature in SharePoint you will, you will easily communicate with google analytics yeah always microsoft has already provided the feature to connect we can um, also connect through power bi or we can also connect through power apps. so here I, it is very important to uh, like uh, here i generated the power bi and we, means we can how we easily uh, show this in power apps so this is the good feature in sapphire which is uh, like mainly required in all organizations yeah uh, thank you guys this is all about this topic this is the this is for today thank you bye bye